everybody, you have found what to play next. I am your host, Anjindra. This is the place where we know that you have a brain in your head, feet in your shoes, and you can go wherever you choose. So let's make it a great one. Living Legends Remastered Frozen Beauty. We loved it. We loved the original. Um, it's got so much color in it. Uh, it's got a great soundtrack. Um, so we decided to go through and play it again since most of our fans missed it. So come along for the ride. We're so excited to have you. Eternal beauty can be yours, but only if you're willing to pay the price. Which is a buck oh five. Everyone knows that. Swimming! Especially a copper and a corset call it a day. Mirror! Reveal to me the fairest maiden in the world. Go so, subscribe, like, comment, make this chick the fairest maiden in the world. So, okay, so um, it's a fairy tale mashup and it's really, really cool. So we are checking it out for the second time through. It's got everything. It's got all the princesses and all that. So if you like fairy tale re reboots, this is definitely the series for you. Okay, so our sister um, is the stupidest thing in the world, and she gets captured by the queen, who has promised her, you know, that she's going to be the next queen, which is what every evil queen does. So um, we actually have to get across this bridge here and try and save the day. So to me, pretty straightforward how we're going to do that. Um, we're trying to fix the bridge so we can get up here. Um, solve this mystery. Get a knife open the box and then maybe find out what's going on with those peacocks. Hmm. How can I get rid of the ice? So we can use the moon now. You actually have to pick up the objects first. Oops. World's smartest human being. Ladies and gentlemen, right here. World's smartest human being. Once I light this candle, it'll help. Okay, so we need to get... Um, Doesn't go there. Doesn't go here. Oh, there's matches. There we go. It's like, what is going on? Come on, friend. You can do this. I know, letting a match is, like, hard when you're a princess's sister. I'm breaking... Oh, it's my USBs. I have a hub. It just, like, goes off. So. There we go. Like, is there, like, a spot... True to adventure form, there is like one pixel that you must click on to make this work. Clearly, friend. It cannot be more clear what we do here. Oh, okay, that's where my snowflake goes. <gasps> I love these! Um, I love pop-up picture books and everything like this. They're so fun. Okay, so that's where the wind-up goes. So where is that? We have a cutout. We have a knob. We can do knobs. Oh, do we really need that in my face? Is that what we need out of life? It doesn't go there. Okay. Oh, and there's the knob. So let's see what this does. This gives me the rest of the lightning bolt. And we can put the queen in. So we're telling a story by building it. And I love working at this sort of thing for education. It's so fun because you get... It's, it lends itself to endless, um, endless retries. We're using a computer and so on. Adults get very intimidated because they can't touch what they're doing. So this is how I bring game theory to that. You know, just as a gamer girl. I think it's cool. Oh, and then we have a frozen apple. So there must be like some sort of frozen apple function here. If I remember this story correctly. So she gets the apple and then we get the frozen apple. So I like this because it uses the fairy tale tropes to build on the story. And it also, um, it has where you can do the hidden ob object feature, so it really lets you know, you know, that that's not all there is to the game. Um, you can do upgrades and pets and that sort of thing. Um, it's incredibly well crafted. You can replay past scenes. Um, right now we're exploring Sto Snow White's story, obviously. Um, you can replay any of the previous um, cutscenes. So, like, my sister was actually knocked out before she, she was captured, as you can see. And you can actually play that as a, a cutscene. Such angelic hair deserves a Interesting what they did with her. Your Majesty, I thank you.
great. And she like tackles her and makes off with her. It's a really good kidnapping scene there. I wanted to use the meme with uh, Liam Neeson. Uh, let's see here. So we already took care of all of that. So let's go back and see if we can unlock the peacock. Ooh, he needs a crown. Okay. We don't have that yet. Well, this goes with her. Oh, that goes with Snow White. And that's what happened to my sister. So obviously my sister is playing out this part in the Queen's... She has, like... Usually evil people are trapped in a prison of their own design. It happens a lot with the upper class. Um, some people in America are calling it the ruling class because we really are shooting for democracy here. Um, where they, they're like trying to get a handle on what's going on. And they kind of can't. It's really hard to explain. So we're shooting for democracy. And in order to do that, we have to like change things that actually make us happy. So we wind up with this imbalance. Instead of the patterns that we're used to. That didn't help me any. But neither. Let's try this one. Because then at least I can get a different pattern to work out my puzzle. So now I have the two bottom ones. That gives me the two top ones. Um, which I can use. I'm going to go about this backwards. Now I have like everything back around. Oh no. It's terrible. I was able to just do this in one go last time. I think I did it where I like didn't touch the top one and I just worked the outside of it. I put myself into- oh! Oh my goodness, where did the game go? Into a round and round here. Alright, there we go. Now I have the apple. Okay, and then see, it kind of like lets you know what puzzle is next which is this one right here, which is, I just, the design on this was incredible. And when you're doing fairy tales, you do tend to do that. Um, so obviously these are, you know, the two watchers and they have the, they're coming out of the mirror. So it's not that she didn't catch the Ferris main, it's that she tried to do it twice. So this is obviously going to be her downfall. Don't worry. I'll take care of your little sister. Doubt it. <laughs> She's gonna do me like that instead? That's so messed up. I tried to warn you, but it's too late. Your sister was charmed by the Queen's empty promises. Leave this place before you share her fate. What did she snap her corset license? Holy cow. It's a miracle I didn't break anything after find Elizabeth. Did anyone ever notice that, like, every lost princess's name is Flippin' Elizabeth? Okay, there are no coins here, there are no more objects. So I can play, like, all the little mini-games and I can get my magical pet and everything like that. And they do have the occasional hidden object because it is just such a... I want to say it's such a trope because that's what they call, like, that's what I've heard them call it on the internet. Um, that's not the correct phrase. Um, it's that it's, um... When it's repeating, it's, um... A cliche. It's such a cliche. So, um, let's see here. It would be nice to complete this first. Okay, so obviously I want something that I don't need right now. Uh, flower, tassel, that's a hand fan, card and a ring. There we go. What does this go in? Right there. Whoops. Um, ornaments, medallion, nutcracker. I thought I tried to grab that. That's silly. Oh, I'm trying to complete the doily. It's different. What do I have here to do that? It's germane at least. Alright, um... Oh, tell me a story here. Speak to me, objects. Crab flower tassel opener. See, stuff like opener always throws me, because, like, that's a sextant, but I don't know if I'm looking for, like, one of these, and it is, too. One of the really old can openers that they used to use. Um, I was raised by, um, I'm European-American, and I grew up in an upper-class neighborhood, so they did find that sort of thing fascinating, um, but my family was country money. <laughs> so, um, like, we were big into, um, telling stories instead of 
literally always doing the thing where you actually have to do what it is that you did to explain it. America's really literal. So, um, we sometimes got away with just telling them our story, which was super cool. Oh, just show me where it is. <laughs> what am I missing here? Oh, those are, I have those as, um, whatchamacallums. <sighs> Garlic. The last one I really enjoyed was the Budapest, um, so I'll have to look into the other ones. I liked one of their other series, but it's kind of sci-fi. Dark Memories, was it? Uh, it was the one that had every chick from on Flint and Steel. Oh, okay, cool. Select the smoky silhouettes to match. Yeah, so they definitely change it up. Um, they like to make them simple, but um, they don't try to make it hard. So you're supposed to be able to feel like you're progressing through the storyline by interacting with it. And that's what I really like about the um, fairy tale ones that they bring to you from Big Fish. Because I can sort of pay attention to it and the be able to play. The pointed at the first victim, Snow White. The queen was glad to get rid of her hated stepdaughter. Natch. Snow Ooh, okay, so my camera clipped there. Um, so the magic mirror pointed to first victim Snow White. The queen was glad to get rid of her hated stepdaughter. Snow White ate a bit witched apple and her youth passed on to the queen. She wasn't satisfi satisfied with her victory, so the queen decided to capture Snow White's soul in her body. She tied a magic ribbon to the girl's wrist, but it was not enough. The years passed as the queen's youth faded. She needed a new victim, so now she can't use Snow White's soul. She announced a competition for talented young women. So Snow White sees a chance to get out and she takes it. I love it because, you know, during times of incredible need, you do actually also wind up being the bad guy. So really cool story. So I am in Ginger. This is what's my next. You might know me better by my other screen name, Alia of Wayrest. Um, my dad, Akatosh, and I helped launch Bethesda, and we are to this day still bringing everything that is awesome in gaming. If you want to play along with us, that would be so awesome. We love fairy tale mashups. Link in the description below. Um, you can demo it um, before you purchase. Um, you know, sometimes I go on a budget, sometimes I don't. So I will flip them some cash, and then I'll promo some videos, and then I'll flip them some cash. That's how I handle Big Fish, and they're an awesome company. They do allow you to do that. Um, subscribing totally free like comment make this chick smile and then we also co-op with game of grind so if you do want coffee shipped to your door and it's got that you can pick your blend your grind and all of that so it's like a good bottle of whiskey that link is down there too and they're gamer co-op um so you can purchase our merch you can put your logos on merch at a really reasonable price and really just support our community and everything so we love being a part of it we love you guys stay cool stay safe game on and we will see you in the next video